Hello, this is Richard with Acumen Real Estate and today we wanted to bring you a short video about Hampstead. It's no secret that Hampstead has grown considerably in the last few years. Close proximity to the beach, affordable real estate prices, low taxes and an excellent school district have all contributed to this. Along with residential growth, uh, commercial has certainly come on tremendously and there's a lot more dining, retail and, uh, and grocery options that, that previously were not available. At present, Hampstead has about 5,000 or so residents, but that is sent to increase considerably over the next few years. So Eric and I took a tour of some of the more affordable home, new home communities available in Hampstead the other day. These are communities that um, they've built for a while. There's not a ton of inventory left, but there, there are some options left. So we'll go through those three real quick. The first one is the Sound at Washington Acres. Um, this is a community by D.R. Horton, a big national builder, and uh, most of the homes were kind of on open concept, one and two story homes. Uh, they start off a very affordable price point, about 260 or so, which for that school district is excellent. There is not uh, boat access to the Intracoastal there, even though the Intracoastal is uh, a stone's throw away, but um, there is a public boat ramp about 10, uh, 10 miles or so away from there and um, to be honest with you it's a, it's a cool little spot really nice to take an even stroll around the waterway. Uh, another community is Canter Crest which is a Bill Clark home it's really well located in the center of Hampstead just off 17 it's, uh, it's tucked away so there's not considerable road noise out there. Bill Clark's got a really good reputation locally I think they've been in business for about 40 years or so and they have a higher level of, of standard features than, than most builders. Prices over there start in the high twos and go to the high threes. Uh, the last community that we checked off at that price point was um, Sparrows Bend. Um, that is a development by H&H &H Homes and, um, and Logan Homes. Um, they're again one, two story open floor concepts. Uh, they actually have a swimming pool and a clubhouse over there. And I think the HOO fees are, are, are nominal. I think they're about $85 a month or so. Let's talk about what's to come in Hampstead. Uh, Windwater is an established community, but they still have a considerable amount of lots and real estate still to sell. Eric and I toured the model. It was beautiful, big, 3,000 square foot home, very, very spacious, well appointed. And I think that neighborhood, there's a lot of the lots that back up to nature reserves. There's sidewalks, gazebos, community parks, and uh, a nice community pool which would sit very well with families, plus um, the, the proximity to Jacksonville as well may work for a lot of people. Another new community, which we actually just toured this afternoon, is Carolina Creek. That is on Country Club Road, just around the corner from Old Point Golf Course. I think it's gonna be a mid-sized community, about 150, 160 homes or so. Again, Bill Clark is the builder and developer over there who has an excellent reputation. Those homes start in the high twos, um, and came pretty well equipped for that, I have to say, nice flooring, uh, trim packages, stone, kitchen islands, tile black splash, that kind of thing. So that is definitely worth a look, as are the two communities that we're probably the most excited about, um, one of them being Waterside, which is uh, an ambitious new community located in Surf City. Um, initially, the plans were to have uh, a gargantuan community, I think, with a lot of density, 3,400, um, residents in there, um, a mix of, of single family homes and multifamily. That's been scaled back considerably now and uh, at least in this first phase there's going to be 400 single family homes. Uh, community boat access um, is available just around the corner from up there and that place promises to be really nice. Coast proximity to Topsail Beach and the Intracoastal, that is going to be cool uh, especially being as the prices start off about 260. The one community that we're most excited about in Hampstead in 2020 is Salters Haven at Lee Marina. This luxury waterfront community will be brought to you by Logan Homes, who also developed Helmsport in Wilmington. As with Helmsport, the community will be centered around a marina with a luxury clubhouse and resort style swimming pool. There are 11 intracoastal front waterway lots, nine lots on the canal, and then 13 lots on the interior of the marina. We don't know an awful lot about the community right now, but we do know there'll be 308 lots on, set on about 68 acres or so. Um, the community actually have a founders event, which is when the initial home sites will be released sometime in April. And for more information on this, please contact us at acumenrealestate.com.